Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd, and may the Holy Spirit bless our devotion together. Anticipation. That's the word for today that describes Christianity. And our reading for today is from the Old Testament prophet Micah, chapter 7, verse 7. But as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Anticipation is a wonderful thing, isn't it? It builds excitement. It builds desire. It keeps us focused on the goal. Anticipation is a longing for something that we are sure we're going to get. As human beings, we certainly do an anticipate anticipation, and we appreciate anticipation. But we also understand diminished anticipation. As days go by and weeks and months and years and maybe even decades, anticipation can turn to apathy. As we wait for those promises to be fulfilled and they just don't seem to be getting fulfilled, we can lose that excitement of anticipation. I can imagine what the anticipation in heaven was like as the angels waited for God's fulfilled promise of sending the Savior into the world. And then, as one angel whispered to the next, this is it, this is it, God sent his son Jesus. I can imagine the excitement growing among the angels. And then when God said, who wants to go and announce the Savior's birth? All of heaven emptied as the angels excitedly went to proclaim in that Bethlehem sky that a Savior has been born. God's promises are true. If only earth knew what was coming. If only they had been anticipating. But unfortunately for most, their anticipation had diminished over time. We anticipate many things from our God, don't we? We anticipate him taking care of us each day. We anticipate his forgiveness each day. We can anticipate him healing us, not always the way we ask, but always in the best way. We anticipate his rescue, not always at the time that we are hoping, but it does come. And with anticipation, we await all of his promises that he makes to us. He makes so many to us, and of course, we anticipate heaven, don't we? Now, that's an anticipation, I think, that grows with time. When we're young, we don't think about heaven quite so much. But as we grow older, it's like crossing the days off on a calendar, approaching that target date. We become more and more excited, anticipating, finally walking into those uh, streets of glory, through those gates of holiness, to be forever with our Lord and free from all of the dis diminished anticipations, all of the frustrations, all of the disappointments, all of the sin. God holds out the very best for us. And so we never really have to lose our anticipation. We need to keep reminding ourselves that God is faithful. He will never, ever break a single promise. He proved it by sealing that promise with the blood of his own son, Jesus, that's taken away our sins. So each day, stay excited with anticipation, my friends. We pray. Lord Jesus, may I every day be excited about you as I anticipate your promises being fulfilled to me. Amen.
Oh, my friends, may this word of Christianity anticipation fill you with excitement as you await to see what God has in store for you today.